This is MSJ Chem, and in this video, I'm going to look at trends in ionization energy. So that includes trends in ionization energy down a group and across a period in the periodic table. Let's start with the definition of ionization energy. The first ionization energy is the minimum energy required to remove one mole of electrons from one mole of atoms in the gaseous state. This equation represents the first ionization energy for an atom. We have one mole of atoms in the gaseous state and we're forming one mole of positive ions in the gaseous state and one mole of electrons. Next we look at the ionization energies for the first 20 elements. So we look at period one first, so that's from hydrogen to helium. And as you can see, the ionization energy increases. Next period two, from lithium to neon. And the general trend is again, ionization energy increases. And then third period from sodium to argon. And again, the general trend is the ionization energy increases. So let's look at the reasons for that. So ionization energy increases across a period from left to right. So as nuclear charge increases and electrons are removed from the same main energy level, the electrostatic attraction between the nucleus and the valence electrons increases. And the second reason for the increase in ionization energy across a period is the fact that atomic radius decreases across a period. Next we look at the trend in ionization energy down a group. So starting with group 18, that's the noble gases, helium, neon and argon, you can see that the ionization energy decreases down the group. And if we look at group one, the alkali metals, lithium, sodium, and potassium, again, you can see the ionization energy decreases down the group. So the general trend is ionization energy decreases down a group. So let's have a look at the reasons for that. As more energy levels become occupied, the valence electrons are further from the nucleus, which results in a weaker electrostatic attraction between the nucleus and the valence electrons. The second reason is increased electron shielding by the inner electrons reduces the electrostatic attraction between the nucleus and the valence electrons. So there we have the trends in ionization energy down a group and across a period. Next, we'll have a look at the exceptions to the trend. So that's the decrease in ionization energy between beryllium and boron and nitrogen and oxygen and magnesium and aluminium and phosphorus and sulfur. So as you can see, we have a decrease in ionization energy between beryllium and boron. So let's have a look at the reason for that. Beryllium has the electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2. Boron has the electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. So the electron in this 2p orbital in boron requires less energy to remove than the electron in the 2s orbital. Therefore, you get the decrease in ionization energy. Next, we'll have a look at the reason for the decrease in ionization energy between magnesium and aluminium. So the same explanation can be applied for the drop in ionization energy from magnesium to aluminium, except the electron configurations are 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p1. So next we'll have a look at the reason for the decrease in ionization energy from nitrogen to oxygen. Nitrogen has the electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. Oxygen has the electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. For oxygen, the electron is removed from a doubly occupied p orbital. An electron in a doubly occupied orbital is repelled by the other electron and requires less energy to remove than an electron in a half-filled orbital. This means that an electron in a doubly filled orbital is easier to remove than an electron in a half-filled orbital, and that's because of the repulsion between these two electrons that occupy the same orbital. So that's all for trends in ionization energy in the periodic table. Don't forget, as always, check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet complete with answers.